Over the course of a year and 16,602 miles behind the wheel of our 2022 Volkswagen ID.4 Pro, I can confidently assert that the ID.4 stands out as a fundamentally reliable and enjoyable car. It doesn't just excel as an electric SUV, rather, it serves as a robust, dependable, and straightforward mode of transportation. Think of it as the Southwest Airlines or Birkenstocks of electric vehicles. There are a few quirks to grasp before embarking on your journey, but overall, you'll find it to be a satisfactory experience. You might even come to appreciate the inherent goodness in the ID4. Greetings, anonymous guest. However, let's address the downside first. There's no sugarcoating it. The car's software system leaves much to be desired. If it were possible to uninstall and discard it, that would be our recommended action. As previously outlined, the graphics are rudimentary and the user interface is cumbersome and sluggish. If you're transitioning from any other modern electric vehicle or a decade-old Tesla, the experience may leave you underwhelmed. Entering the car is consistently unpredictable. On certain days, the driver infotainment screen would display a generic, welcome anonymous guest, instead of the driver's name. Every day, we were confronted with the same dark and monotonous log and screen on the central touchscreen. The voice controls are both slow and vexing, from accidentally triggering the voice prompt, hello ID, to the basic input of destinations. While the ID4's clever intelligent light display accompanies navigation, providing a visual guide for turns and flashing during abrupt stops, the overall system is one you'd prefer to avoid. Fortunately, you have alternatives, as Apple CarPlay and Android Auto function in the ID.4, when they decide to connect, that is. The delays lasting seconds to minutes in initializing CarPlay were perplexing. Ready, set, go. Similar to every Tesla, the ID.4 boasts a seamless startup function, simply shift into gear, and the smart key and seat sensor recognize the driver, eliminating the need for a key twist or button push. Despite its 4,549 pound weight, our ID.4 consistently felt agile, featuring responsive steering and an impressively tight turning radius, particularly beneficial in urban settings. When we acquired our $42,525 VW ID.4 Pro, it represented the entry-level option, crafted in Germany, equipped with 77 kilowatt hours of usable battery power. 82 kilowatt hours gross, 275 miles of range, and a 201 horsepower motor propelling the rear wheels. For the 2023 model year, VW introduced the ID.4 standard, a new base model with a 62 kilowatt hour battery, 209 miles of range, and production at the Chattanooga, Tennessee. Planned in the US priced at $40,290, it broadened the ID.4's range. Our experience with the initially basic ID.4 was generally positive. While the absence of accessories like dividers for the spacious cargo area was noticeable, the lack of extras such as a power lift gate didn't pose a significant inconvenience. The simple gray cloth and plastic interior, while spartan, proved to be durable. Usage wear and tear. Over the course of a year, our ID.4 served as the transport for a toddler navigating his second and third years of life, and remarkably, it weathered the experience without significant signs of wear. Despite securing at least three different rear-facing child seats in the right rear seat and enduring spills and the exuberant yet impatient foot-stomping of a growing child, the gray cloth seating surfaces exhibited no noticeable wear when we returned the vehicle to VW. However, we did encounter a couple of minor issues during our time with the car. The plastic button on the driver's side floor mat, responsible for keeping it in place, was somehow broken, as was the tab for the rear seat HVAC vent. Although we pointed out these concerns during our sole service visit, the dealer did not address them. Regarding service appointments, we only needed one stop at the 10,000 mile mark, as discussed in a previous update. The sole recall for the vehicle, involving the application of a protective coating to the rear hatch joints, was addressed during this service. All of these maintenance activities were covered under VW's Carefree Maintenance Program, which extends for two years or 20,000 miles, whichever comes first. This complimentary service plan stands out in comparison to the expenses we incurred with recently owned gas-powered crossovers of similar size. For instance, a 2023 Mazda CX-50 required two service visits and 19,000 miles, 
costing a total of $176.08. Similarly, a 2021 Nissan Rogue had two visits in 12,000 miles, totaling $139.23, and a 2021 Kia Sorento needed two visits in 23,000 miles, amounting to $354.18. Lonership expenses. Given that our use of the ID4 primarily involved daily commuting between home, daycare, and work, we relied almost exclusively on home charging. The convenience and cost-effectiveness of home charging, once the appropriate charger was installed, underscore the practicality of EVs, at least for those fortunate enough to have home charging capabilities. Even with a conservative estimate of the cost per kilowatt hour, the average cost of driving our ID4 was $0.09 cents per mile. This economical expenditure became particularly evident as we drove and charged during a period of record high gas prices in the Los Angeles area last year. Over the 13 months of our loan, we charged the vehicle 134 times at the low home and various third-party charging stations, primarily EVEGO and Electrify America. While an average of 10 charges per month may seem high, it was the road trips that skewed these numbers. During a 6-hour, 300-mile trip, we might charge two or three times in a single day and repeat these sessions on the return journey. For daily use, involving short trips from home to work, daycare, or shopping, the Lowe family could easily go a week to 10 days without needing to charge. In total, our ID4 Pro consumed 4,515 kilowatt hours to cover 16,898 miles, resulting in an average of 3.6 miles per kilowatt hour. This figure aligns with data from VW ID4 forums in the SUV's own driver's display. By comparison, our similarly sized long-term dual-motor all-wheel drive Kia EV6 and Hyundai Ioniq 5 average 2.9 miles per kilowatt hour and 3.3 miles per kilowatt hour, respectively. Just slightly below our rear-wheel drive single-motor Volkswagen. The final verdict. Embarking on your inaugural Southwest Airlines journey? It's crucial to grasp their no assigned seats policy before stepping on board. Breaking in your first pair of Birkenstocks? It's advisable to trim your toenails and moisturize those ashy heels before showcasing your toes in public. Similarly, if you're contemplating the VW ID4 as your first foray into the realm of electric vehicles, congratulations and well done. We believe you'll discover it to be an inviting, user-friendly, and increasingly economical electric vehicle that offers an enjoyable driving experience, especially as a versatile city commuter. Just be sure to plan charging stops for road trips in advance, maintain reasonable speeds, and opt for CarPlay or Android Auto as your preferred infotainment system. Once you've mastered these essentials, life behind the wheel of the ID4 Thanks becomes quite enjoyable. Drop a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.